Hello guys. So first question is, what is my SQL? <laughs> Imagine walking into an interview and then they ask you, what is my SQL? These are some of the basic questions that can trip you up, right? But always remember this. So SQL is a, it's, it's a relational database system, which is widely used for building a very scalable and robust applications right when we say a relational database system basically all we are talking about is a database system that stores uh, data in a structured format in tables in columns and in rows and then it goes further to establish relationships between all of these tables and all of these columns at the bare minimum that is what sql is and that is what a relational database management system is right now when they ask you what are the technical features of mysql now there's so much mysql can do there's a lot right you don't need to mention each and everything but these are the bare bones features the core features of mysql you can talk about sql support sql means structured queried language right it's like a stand standard language format for querying and manipulating data in the database then one very important feature of my sql is the fact that it is asset compliant now when we say asset compliant we mean uh, it's the database is atomic transactions are consistent there's also a type of isolation levels that you can set and then your data is also durable all these things come together to make a database asset compliant you get it for example if you are sending money from your bank account to another bank account and something happens or maybe your network goes off midway during the processing of the transaction what happens let's say your your telecom wallet or your mobile wallet actually deducts their money but then because of a network failure it's not able to send the money to the recipients like what happens now consistency comes in here isolation comes in here you, the transaction that was started you know wh what happens to it when it feels midway right is it all committed is it rolled back you know stuff like that this, that is a very important feature of asset compliance then we also have replication and clustering now mysql allows you to set up master slave service right so this helps for more availability more for more more fault tolerance sorry right so, you know more performance as well it also supports indexes now indexes sort of optimize things like your search and then your lookups in a table right so then when you have when you create a right indexes and then you are performing queries your uh, the sql analyzer doesn't need to go through the entire heap or then all your tables before finding what you want by using your indexes it can just jump straight to wherever your data is located so that that is just indexes at the bare minimum it's also my sql also stop, supports storage engines like different types of storage engines the most popular are InnoDB and my isam now InnoDB comes with its own benefits my isam also comes with its own benefits right I, I have uh, production platforms that use a mix of both and then it works perfectly right but you know, db is usually more favored because of a little bit more advantages it has over my isam i won't get into that in this video also my sql has a lot of features and then functions for performing backups and restores just in case anything happens to your data you know pumping your database restoring it to a particular point in time and all of that is supported by my sql also it comes with a lot of security features for uh, authentication encrypting your data at rest it also comes with uh, uh, ssl tls support for communication and then transfer of data between maybe your client and your database so my sql supports that as well also my score has a lot of features for fine-tuning and um, fine-tuning the performance of your database key caches query caches and you know stuff like that my score has a bunch of things for optimizing your memory configuring your server and stuff like that for the best possible performance this is part one of this video if you enjoyed this video like share comment let me know what you think about it and then uh, i'll be dropping part two in upcoming videos there's there's a lot there's a lot to catch up over here right and i, I hope you're able to learn something new thank you for sticking to the end of this video bye